So many of the artists we look up to and we admire and that inspire us always have some sense of cohesiveness between all their photos. They have some sort of style. They kind of have a rhythm to their photos. You always can tell that this is their photo without even looking at their name. And a lot of people, including myself, aspire to have something like that. Aspire to have a style. But I personally think that trying to develop something like this and trying to have a style can be a massive way that holds so many artists back and it held me back for a long time because I thought I found my style and I was just using a preset that I found somewhere and I thought I had a language and people started recognizing it but all I was doing was limiting myself and trying to kind of copy someone else with their style and never finding my own style. Eventually I found that very unfulfilling I did end up developing a style like maybe years later and I'm here to talk to you about this. So I personally do not think I have a style, but a lot of people, they see my work and they tell me, yeah, you definitely have a style. I could definitely tell this is your work, but I don't think I usually see it. Hello everyone. My name is Meher Amalab, the God of the Muslim, Ahmed Gamez, and today we're going to be talking about how to kind of find your own style. Let's get into it. So I found a lot of resemblance between making something that's truly unique and also having a sense of style. You can usually tell that this is this artist's unique type or style of work. In this video, I'm going to break down kind of how to do something that's truly unique, something that is unique to you, something that expresses who you are. So first, you have to learn to collect data, collect information, collect knowledge, collect things that inspire you, like learn from all the various artists that inspire you, the things that make you enjoy a piece of art, the things that you gravitate towards, learn these things. And as you keep learning these things, you will find that you're collecting a lot of data from so many artists and so many different mediums of art even, and slowly you'll have a database almost of all this random pieces of knowledge that inspire you. Then you kind of have to find a medium that you enjoy. You don't have to limit yourself to the same medium of the people who inspire you. Find a medium that you're attracted to, find a medium that you're comfortable with, that you love, whether it's photography, filmmaking, digital art, fine art, painting, oil painting, pottery, and obviously there's so many more mediums of art that I didn't list, but find your own one that just pulls you in. Find 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 out what that medium is. Once you have that, just start mixing all the things you learned. Start mixing all these little nuances that you've learned from different artists. Start mixing this knowledge that you have, like that is in a way, you'd be very surprised to find out that it is unique to you. Obviously, the more time you spend learning from other artists and learning these little techniques and, and little things they do, you're gonna start having a unique collection of things and just start mixing it and experiment. The next step is you basically start removing the things that don't work out, that you don't like. Just start peeling these things away, kind of like a sculpture, like sculpting off the things you don't need and you'll slowly start to see the beginnings of having a style. You don't have to kind of throw it away forever. You can always try to go back to it and experiment later on, but Start narrowing down these little things. I cannot emphasize this enough, but keep practicing. Practice, 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 practice. This is why I'm making a YouTube video right now. This is why I'm making a YouTube channel because I value practice so much more than anything else. Because when you practice, you find all these things that you just didn't even know existed. There's so much that you don't know that you don't know about. Think about that for a second. So when you practice, you're faced with the things that you don't know that you don't know about. And then you start kind of learning your own things and then you kind of discover new things with these mixtures and then you have these amazing combinations and then you just have to keep practicing and practicing and practicing. And it doesn't have to be a daunting process. It doesn't have to be annoying. It doesn't have to be like dreadful, like enjoy practicing it. You're, you're discovering a, a thing that never even existed. It's gonna be unique to you. And just keep refining that further and further. Just continue to refine that process. Continue to pay attention to the little details and take your time. You know, there is a saying that you have to spend 10,000 hours to be a master or something. Um, I don't know how I feel about that quote, but there is some truth to it. The truth of spending so much time doing something. This is where all kind of the magic happens. And the more time you put, the more time 
you kind of discover in this process. Obviously, you have to put the time in the right place, otherwise you're just wasting your time. But if you're enjoying the process, there are things that you will discover that you just had no idea that you enjoyed. And nothing worthwhile does not take time. That's kind of the beauty of it. I don't want to get too philosophical here, but if you put in the time, you will see the results. And then you have to also be open to change. That's something I kind of messed up with in the beginning is once I thought I found my style, I was like, okay, I just have to stick to it because now people are starting to see that I have a theme going on in my feed or whatever. But you have to not resist change. You cannot resist change. In fact, change is an essential ingredient through this process. The more you allow change to happen, the more you will have something more unique, the more you'll have something that expresses you more than anything else. And sometimes it can get worse. Sometimes you will add a new change, your style will get worse, you'll get less likes, people will be like, oh, your work is getting worse or whatever. But that's okay. Sometimes it has to get worse before it gets better. Just keep practicing and keep welcoming change. Keep adding new pieces of information. Keep experimenting with new pieces of information, with new knowledge. You're growing every day. You're learning things every day. And you have to experiment to kind of discover that what you like and what you don't like. Get people's feedback on it too. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't resist change. And also more importantly, pay attention to every single little detail. When you are spending this much time on something, you start noticing these little details. And that's a concept that actually changed my life is, I guess I'm going to call it the little things concept, but the little things concept. But this concept is basically how these little things, yes, they don't matter. Yes, you don't see them, but there's all these little details that you don't notice and they don't make that big of a difference. But all the little details together, they make a massive difference. If you think about it, everything you look at, every art piece you look at is just made out of a bunch of little details. Do not dismiss the little details. It will change the way you do everything in your life. And again, throughout this process, keep learning from others. Keep getting inspiration from others. You don't have to only get inspiration from people you look up to and people you aspire to be like, but also learn from people who you may think are equal to you. People who just do things slightly differently. Look at all kinds of different artists in all their different mediums and keep learning from them and experiment that's kind of the beauty of the process you get to make something that never existed and you can get your inspiration from all kinds of different places and then again if you don't like it just simply remove it and keep going at it and keep refining your process and if you keep this up eventually your art will resemble you in a much more accurate way People will look at your work and they will get a peek of who you are. They will get to know so much about you by what went in your process. They might not be conscious of, of that. When they look at your work, they will feel a sense of connection with you because they see all these little details that you chose or not chose to put in your work and they see how you express that in your work. And at that point, it becomes a true form of self-expression. All that being said, I don't think there is such thing as style. Even great artists like Van Gogh, they had phases. In his museum in the Netherlands, in each floor they have a phase of his artwork. There's a different feel to all his photos in each floor. And that's as he kind of evolved himself. It's always going to be an ongoing process. That process might be so slow that it gives an illusion of a constant style, but that style does not exist. That style is always evolving. So I would humbly advise against fixating too much on style. Just enjoying the process of evolving and expressing yourself and learning new things. Suddenly without realizing it, you'll notice that people look at your work and they see that style they see you in that work and they're like definitely yeah i could definitely tell when when that's your work and your work will change don't let that sense of of aha i got it to to trap you into a sense of style and then you're not wanting to experiment with new things and continue learning and continue evolving and continuing to get better so that's kind of the trap of style is it could hold so many people back of progressing enjoying the process and just being free to create and express themselves because just the same way that your art evolves you change as a person and you grow as a person so when you're expressing yourself through your art you will definitely 
have a change in your art because you yourself are growing and expanding. So don't let the illusion of style trap you from growing as a person. As I continue to grow as a photographer and filmmaker, I'm gonna be continuing to share all my work on this YouTube channel every single week. So yeah, let me know who your favorite artist is right now. Shameless plug, the footage from this video was recorded for the company me and my best friend started. It's called Nunga, which means student in a tribal language called Wolof. And we are trying to basically change the world with this company. So yeah, I'm not gonna talk too much about it right now, but if you wanna learn more about it, check out our Instagram, Nunga Tribe, and our website, nungatribe.com. Follow us on there to see what's gonna be happening in the near future. And see you next week, peace.